Part 1. Summons. To Walter Lippmann. Summons by Louis Untermeyer. Read for LibriVox.org. By Larry Wilson. The eager night and the impetuous winds, the hints and whispers of a thousand lures, and all the swift persuasion of the spring surged from the stars and stones and swept me on. The smell of honeysuckles, keen and clear, startled and shook me with the sudden thrill of some well-known but half-forgotten voice. A slender stream became a naked sprite, flashed around curious bends and winked at me beyond the turns, alert and mischievous. A saffron moon dangling among the trees seemed like a toy balloon caught in the boughs, flung there in sport by some too mirthful breeze, and as it hung there, vivid and unreal, the whole world's lethargy was brushed away. The night kept tugging at my torpid mood and tore it into shreds. A warm air blew my wintry slothfulness beyond the stars, and over all indifference there streamed a myriad urges in one rushing wave. Touched with the lavish miracles of earth, I felt the brave persistence of the grass, the fair desire of rivulets, the keen unconquerable fervor of the thrush, the endless labors of the patient worm, the lichen strength, the prowess of the ant, the constancy of flowers, the blind belief of ivy climbing slowly toward the sun, the eternal struggles and eternal deaths, and yet the groping faith of every root. Out of old graves arose the cry of life, out of the dying came the deathless call, and thrilling with a new sweet restlessness, the thing that was my boyhood woke in me. Dear foolish fragments made me strong again, valiant adventures, dreams of those to come, and all the vague heroic hopes of youth with fresh abandon, like a fearless laugh, leaped up to face the heavens unconcerned. And then, veil upon veil was torn aside. Stars, like a host of merry girls and boys, danced gaily round me, plucking at my hand. The night, scorning its ancient mystery, leaned down and pressed new courage in my heart. The hermit thrush, throbbing with more than song, sang with happy challenge to the skies. Love and the faces of a world of children swept like a conquering army through my blood. And beauty rising out of all its forms, beauty the passion of the universe, flamed with its joy, a thing too great for tears. And like a wine poured itself out for me to drink of, to be warmed with, to go refreshed and strengthened to the ceaseless fight, to meet with confidence the cynic years, battling in wars that never can be won, seeking the lost cause and the brave defeat. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain.